Hillary Clinton's stop in Raleigh Wednesday, as well as Donald Trump's stop in Greensboro the week before, is more proof of the growing importance of the Tar Heel State in the upcoming presidential election. Today, CBS North Carolina morning anchor Russ Bowen spoke with Jonathan Kapler, the director of the state government relations at the University of North Carolina, on our state's role this November. So Hillary Clinton has already committed $3.7 million in advertising just in North Carolina. How does that compare to other states, first of all? It's actually the third highest amount of any other state, uh, just behind traditional battleground states of Ohio and Florida. So North Carolina seems to be another really contested uh, state this year. So do you think Donald Trump will be able to uh, catch up with her as far as spending in the state, and does he have to? Well, we'll see. He, in the primary campaign, he really focused on earned media, and so news coverage, and not so much on ads. But his fundraising has been lagging. Uh, we're starting to see that pick up a little bit. But if he has the resources to compete with Clinton and her allies, that's yet to be seen. Well, and I guess the question is, too, does he really need to? Because he really didn't need to in the primary, right? Right. Well, and that worked for him in the primary schedule. But in the general election phase of the campaign, it's yet to be seen. All right. So you know how that saying goes, where Ohio goes, so goes the nation. I've read a couple of articles that North Carolina is starting to fill that whole thing that we've seen with Ohio for decades. Right. Yeah. We are definitely a state to watch. Uh, the new, uh, new Florida, the new Ohio, we are purple state, probably the closest divided state in the country. So the candidates spent a lot of time here the last two major election cycles. How, what sort of effect does that have on the local races? Right, absolutely. It can drive up turnout, interest in the election overall. And we've got other big elections all the way down to state legislator and legislature and local levels. And so it really matters if North Carolina is contested at the presidential level. And of course, voter ID has certainly been in the press a whole lot lately. You know, how does this effect get out the vote for both of those candidates? Well, it changes the rules of the game, right? And so we're in the process now where the parties are having to adjust their strategies for turnout. All right, Jonathan, thanks so much for being with us. Absolutely. We have much more with Jonathan on our website as well as tomorrow morning as well.